Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is that hour of the night, because holy smoke is it ain't no jokers, okay? We gotta talk about these alien bastards out there, these alien twins! Most of you fellas are gonna be baffled by the end, alright? Like this video if you like it, subscribe if you're brand new, shout out to the homie, that is impossible. Roll it. Going on a road trip usually feels as if stepping into a world of endless possibilities. The open road ahead, the feeling of freedom and the excitement of adventure, these are some of the things that draw us to these journeys. Yep, yep, However, yep. sometimes things don't go as planned, and in Love very it. rare cases, completely unexplained and creepy things might happen. Love you it. Have a guy uh -huh. in the mountain up there that is watching you with binoculars. I would stay away from. Him. Holy crap! What are the odds y you have one of those moments? Someone's outside. Someone's outside. And this is when we're left scratching our heads, questioning absolutely everything we thought we knew about reality. Oh, I'm excited, bro. I'm excited for this one. Come here, come here. That is not a plane. Get your talkies, boys. Get your talkies. Whoa. Don't watch. Oh, there's someone running? No. And today, we're gonna be taking a look at the creepiest and most unexplained videos caught on camera during road trips. Holy! Oh, yeah, we got these alien twats, huh? Bridge. Bridge. What? Are you guys ready? Well, let's go. Hell yeah! Yeah, I'm excited, man. Shout out to the homie. That is impossible. And most importantly, shout out to the people recording these videos, right? Because without them, we wouldn't have it. And shout out to you as well, boys. On March 2024, Reddit user Smart Atmosphere 430 was driving past Sulphur Springs in Texas on a very beautiful afternoon when all of a sudden he spotted a very bizarre object in the sky. Yeah, these alien twats, huh? Why is now, so Smart in a, why in a Atmosphere hurry? and his wife had been driving for quite a while and he was on the passenger seat observing the clouds. This is when all of a sudden he spots this object that doesn't look like a drone, a plane, a balloon nor anything else that he had ever seen. So he did what anyone would do and he got his camera and immediately began to record. And this is what he saw. I wish he was all uh, recording horizontally but he was recording vertically damn. What the f he wasn't recording horizontally the way it was shown in that B-roll video. What appears to be a perfectly round object can be clearly seen hovering above Sulphur Springs in Texas. And whatever this thing is, it left Smart Atmosphere and his wife completely baffled. <laughs> now being that they were on a highway, they couldn't stop the car to- I was anticipating that. Hashtag Baffle Gang, rise up! Join the Baffle Gang by subscribing, boys. Join the Baffle, baffle Gang. Yeah! I right, record it. a little bit more. But the footage that he had captured was already enough to become the center of attention just a couple of weeks ago on the Reddit community. Yeah, While jinx. some believe that this is possibly a balloon, even though it doesn't look like one, others think that this might be the real deal. Mm. One internet user stabilized the video and zoomed in really well and we can clearly see that this does not look like a regular balloon. Yeah, James, the now because King. the video is quite short, it becomes difficult to affirm if this is or isn't the real deal. What I do know, however, is that this isn't the first time an object like this is caught on camera. Yeah, it's very bizarre. You got the cut as well. Holy! Something very similar was also seen in Medellin, Colombia and also in the UK. What are the odds that the pilot pulled out the camera at the right moment? Because this thing is moving quite fast, so he must have seen it from very far away. How is that even like... Uh, because it looks so small on camera, so was he able to see something from that far and he's like, okay, let me just pull up a camera that fast? Okay, maybe, but... Odd. Not only indeed. that, there were other people leaving comments saying that they had already seen something like this before and they also believe that this might be the real deal. Mm. Strange, isn't it? Yeah, but it doesn't stop there. Just stops. a couple of months after, on July 2024, an internet profile by the name of Rex McCaskill was driving by Wimberley in Texas, and all of a sudden he spotted something really strange in the sky, something that he wasn't used to seeing during his road trips. So he got his camera and immediately began to record one of the strangest sightings I've ever seen. 
Keep going. Check this out. Strange, isn't it? <laughs> baffling it is, brother. Baffling it is. Holy hell. Looks like a... You know, in... Uh, looks like a fidget spinner. Did you see that? Yes, we did what see that. What appears to be some sort of spinning object can be clearly seen hovering above Wimberley in Texas. And whatever this thing is, it's definitely not a drone, nor a plane, nor a chopper. This has to be something else entirely. Yeah, crazy. While some believe that it could be just a prism flip kite, and it actually looks as if it could, others think that it resembles the description of an angel according to certain scriptures. Now, being that this thing is flying and spinning at really high speed, I'd say that this is possibly not a prism flip kite. And to but make no lies, it does have a little bit of that shape, right? Make things even stranger, a similar object was responsible for halting a football game during the NFL broadcast in Minnesota in 1979. I want you to explain that to oh, me, Oh, man. I'm afraid to. This is sort of a Twilight Zone football game. Now, I'm not exactly sure if both objects are the same. What I do know, however, is that flip kites like this one were possibly invented in the 1990s by a man named Mark Reed. So whatever it is that we're looking at, it could be something otherworldly. Yeah, like gravity, motherfuckers, right? Like it should have just dropped eventually if it got that uh, high. And I'm wondering, like, if it's really a UFO, though, uh, and if it's controlled by, let's just say, a, an extraterrestrial uh, being, wouldn't he get dizzy? Uh, another thing is that perhaps it's something completely different, or maybe it's a UFO drone where, uh, yes, this is also another theory, right? Like, maybe some of the UFOs that you see in the skies are actually otherworldly vehicles, but maybe drones that, just like how you would sit and control a drone and drone would fly, Maybe it's like a UFO drone for the aliens or something, right? Like they're just having a reconnaissance. Um, or maybe they're just playing like Grand Theft Auto. Maybe this is like their way, ver their version of playing GTA Online. Maybe this is what it is. But if all of this weren't strange enough, it gets even stranger in this next video recorded by Ramirez501 while she was driving by Houston, Texas. It was a cloudy oh. afternoon on May 2023 when all of a sudden she spots this bizarre thing in the sky something that she couldn't quite explain and this is what she saw go queen you got it yeah bullets not affecting it at all it's I'm saying it's unkillable. Nuke that sucker up right now. <laughs> Nuke it! <laughs> it was moving before, but... It's what at first shape, looks huh? like some sort of luminous object can be seen behind the clouds. And at first, I thought it could be the moon or maybe the sun. It's when she zooms in that it becomes quite clear that this thing is something else entirely. How can that be a moon, bro? Like... Feels like a bunch of cards just stacked up. Has a weird shape. Yeah. Doesn't look like a traditional UFO, right? It what appears to be some sort of portal, maybe a doorway or a hologram, can be clearly seen in the sky. And this left. Honestly, that's a good point, right? What if this is a hologram? Of what this is uh the government testing the technology or somebody that had their hands on testing that technology you know it could a doorway be that. or a hologram can be clearly seen in the sky and this left ramirez and her husband baffled? completely baffled <laughs> to this day no one has any idea baffled. to what this thing is and to make things even more mysterious this is the last video that ramirez posted since last year sheesh Sheesh, man. Some Baffle, internet huh? users suggest that this could actually be some sort of hologram, while others have absolutely no idea to what this is. Now, because it was a really cloudy day, it makes it really hard to identify what this thing is. It could be anything, really. But because it keeps shifting its form and shape, I'd say that this is definitely not a drone, nor a balloon, nor anything else I've ever seen before. So I'm gonna leave it up to you. What do you think this is? Could it be a portal, a hologram, or is it something else entirely?
And have you ever seen anything strange and unexplainable while on a road trip? No, nope, never. Never. What about you guys? What about the internet detectives? Uh oh. On January uh -oh. 2024, YouTuber Siaz was exploring the woods with a couple of friends of his when all of a sudden they came face to face with a very creepy situation. Love it. What the now, YouTuber Siaz is usually exploring abandoned places with his friends in Belgium or in other places in Europe. In most of his videos, things end up very well. They sometimes <laughs> love the YouTube thumbnail faces, man. <laughs> love it, man. Love it. Bump into homeless people or strangers, but that's about it. However, on January 2024, things did not go as expected. Love it. Oh crap! Oh, run it! We're running! We're running! I want to. It all started water. a couple of weeks prior when they decided to go vlogging and camping in the woods. Something a little bit different from what they were used to doing. In this particular case, things ended up well, and they had a very nice experience while camping and vlogging. Thank you, Al. So a couple of weeks after, they decided to go back, and this is when things take a very dark turn. We zijn hier onderweg naar een verlaten camping, man. Een verlaten camping midden in het bos. Zie beschijnt daar met zijn pillamp. We rijden hier gewoon. Kijk, joh, dat is toch eng? Camping, my man. Creepy. Okay, so what language is he speaking? Okay, what language? It's not French. While searching for the most abandoned place in the woods, they start hearing what sounds like a dog barking in the distance. That is well spawned, yeah. That's exciting. Wait, I've got it. Echt. Oh man. Oh man. This. This is. There's a Mechelan, No. Now taking into consideration that it's really late at night. And that this is the same campsite that they had spent the night a couple of weeks prior, they become a bit freaked out. But they must find a safe spot to camp. So they decide to take a quick look around, and this is what happens. Uh oh, oh the hunt, yeah. Here is the ingang. Stop the dog. Yeah, this is this is a place of gebed. You love our room to respect the gebed. And there it up. Pass up, wake up. I've been here a long time ago and stood here full with bungalows, with campings. I've been here camping, man. Okay, oh, of the forest, everything is uh, pretentious, super cool. And suddenly, there, yes, there, uh, here it is, the board with D. If you sleep here like this without D, change, you're just in. Yes, that's true because it's not actually private. If we continue onward, we can walk. Uh, where did you hear that? There's a bit hutch. With the old. What is here changed to a bed thing? And what's that here up? This is a bed place. But that's just a tack. Yeah, yeah, that is here just self made. Look, that's in hip. That made that's here just a sigeuner camp or a or a hippie camping or so. Geworden. Hello. Hola. Yeah, I hear. Yeah, yeah. Hoort je het? Hoort je het? Die deur. Die wind niet. Little by little, Sias and his friends began feeling as if they were not supposed to be there, and this is when they start hearing what sounds like voices coming from the woods. I hear from all here. This is so fing pop. Water. Hello? Hola. Hello? Mogen we hier binnen komen? Can we get in here? This is so creepy, Matt. <laughs> this is so creepy. What the At this point, see. Yo, uh, what language is he speaking? That accent is kind of crazy. Uh, creepy, my man. Creepy. Camping, camping. Yes, and his friends were too curious to go back. And even though it was very clear that someone didn't want them there, they went ahead. Needless to say, it didn't take long before they regretted the decision. And this. It's what they caught on camera. Check this out. I'm hyped. I'm hyped, man. What the? F what the? F okay, they turned off lights. Doesn't even auto or so, huh? Hey, man. Lights. I need lights. You want literally someone to mark it? You want literally someone to mark it in the bush? This is ill. Lamp on or not? Hello. Hello. Oh, they got the lights there. Hello. What the? Oh, eh, 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 run, 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 run. Yo, she coming out hey. with the knife. Oh. 
Now well, completely freaked out, Sears and his friends run as fast as they- I ran faster than them, bro. Uh, I'm more tired than them. <laughs> but I feel like I've seen this clip before, I believe it was uh, in Nukes Top 5 or something, right? Can from an angry woman that appears to be carrying an axe. After finding what they consider to be a safe spot, they call the police. Yeah, the popo. Shortly after, the police arrives and arrests the woman, and this is the moment where Sias and his friends notice that the woman keeps staring at them with this psychotic smile. They also noticed that she had messed with their car and removed the license plates, most likely with some sort of sinister intention. Luckily for them, everything ended up okay, but this is the sort of situation you see in horror movies and it doesn't always end up like this. So I want to know your thoughts, what do you think they should have done differently and what would you have done in their place? I mean running, good. Calling the popo, the Babylon, good. Uh oh. Uh oh. Located in the state of Texas, right between the borders of Mexico and the US, is a city known as McAllen. Now, McAllen has a population of about 150,000 people and it's popularly known for its proximity with Rio Grande River. It's also known as a good spot for bird watching and its cultural diversity. But besides all of this, there's also something very sinister about McAllen. And that would be the fact that there are countless stories of phantom hitchhikers that simply vanish into thin air, haunted churches, and mysterious creatures that lurk at night. And it was on June 2024 that an internet profile by the name of The Unknown RGV decided to go random nodding late at night in McAllen, Texas. Now, if you don't know Randonautica, it's an app that became very popular in 2024, leading users to random locations based on quantum numbers. 2024? Uh, no, it has been popular like even before that, right? Uh, any of you use this app? Yeah, I heard about this app like a while ago too. Uh, I believe from Nukes Top 5 videos or something. Number generation. And in most cases, people who play around with this app will end up in the creepiest of situations, like coming face to face with the crime scene or a stranger lurking in the darkness. Why do we just go to this quantum point and this person is Okay, so it doesn't show it. Oh my god, okay. People. Oh my god. Holy hell, so it's not showing up there. Put the camera back. In other yeah. words, you can imagine how creepy this app can be. And this eventually led people to stop playing with Randonautica until this year, when it became somewhat popular again. And it was on a hot summer night that the unknown RGV and his buddies came face to face with a very bizarre situation. Gloria, my on the floor, what, the is that though? what is that? Why is someone running? Upon a someone or something started running in the dark pitch night. Arriving at a random location somewhere in County Road, they spot what looks like a person running in the dark. I'm guessing it means this. No, watch. The road area, and we will see the. Oh, see, what the oh, there's someone running? No. At first, it seems as if there's not much going on, but slowly they start to realize that this person that's running in the dark may not actually be a person at all. This is what they caught on camera. Check this out. Holy crap. Okay, let's see. What is that though? What is that? Why is someone running? No, lower it down, lower it down. You dumbest thing, lower my Oh, you can <laughs> oh, it's running so crazy fast. Dude, no. Running really fast, huh? Damn, bro. Hard There's to see. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe they're getting their <laughs> night jogging in, all right? It's fast, right? Maybe they're getting their night jogging in, something that you don't do, right? Like, maybe they're burning calories like that. Yeah. They like burning calories. Oh, it's right here, John! It's right here! Wait, what? Did you see that? What at first looks like a normal person running in the dark turns out to be something else entirely. If we slow-mo and rewind the video a couple of times, you can clearly see its eyes seem to be glowing in the dark. Not only that, whatever this thing is, it seems to vanish completely into thin air and it seems to be running too fast to be a regular human being. And the unknown RGV and his buddies also noticed this. Dude, that's just too fast. Bro. There was fa it fast, right? Yeah. After being posted, the video caught a lot of attention, and most internet users seem to agree that it's most likely not a regular person running in the dark. Yeah. No, it was so really it has fast. to be. 
why was it running so fast or maybe he, it was the uh, area 51 raider right you guys remember when area 51 raid memes were starting especially on facebook somebody made that event we need to learn about them aliens we're gonna run so fast we're gonna we're gonna be like naruto running and they're not gonna be able to catch us like the bullets won't even able won't be able to touch us right yeah that was like crazy and stuff but still people i believe uh, hundreds of people did show up regardless that that went viral that went viral that meme went viral that went viral over on facebook but still a, a lot of people did show up area at area 51 right and it was crazy it was crazy something else but what the skinwalker the rake or something else entirely strange isn't it, isn't it? but yeah. it's it even stranger the next day when the unknown rgv and his buddies returned to the same place just to double check where exactly was it that this person was running and this is what they saw back at the place the three mil <laughs> video place right here the three musketeers person running or whatever the it was bigger running and shit. Skinwalker. the skinwalker the legal uh oh that? That not be Mexico, bro, honestly. <laughs> i think they're gonna see the same thing huh maybe how did a person oh shit. it's it wasn't Mexico. for too long it was running what the fuck okay this is where it was running that's where it was running ain't no way dog what this is where it was running the whole fucking path nah dude yeah there, there's no way <laughs> That's After bizarre. crossing a small river, they finally reached the same place where this thing was seen, and this is when they realized that this thing was running on loose sand. So I'm not exactly sure what it is that they saw that night. What I do know, however, is that in most videos where we get to see what's supposed to be a skinwalker or a rake, we get to see the same superhuman features such as glowing eyes in the dark, and usually pacing quicker than a human would. Holy crap. Damn. The f is that? Yeah, like I remember is that in the this. Woods? Oh, what the crap? Is that a guy? What the frick? What the? F <laughs> what was that? Oh, not this. 2006, huh? Oh. Holy hell! You got this clip as well. Is that a person or so i'm not else? exactly sure what's going on here but i want to know your thoughts what do you guys check out this video on the screen this is the last episode that we've done if you love this you're gonna love this one as well check it out we had a lot of creepy clips in this one the ufo twats as well check it out and i'll see you right there if you already seen it then check out the video on the